Here. Can I have some marshmallow? Can I have some? Oh, 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 no, hey, give me a bite. <laughs> Didn't think so. It could be the most disgusting food item in the world, and he would take it and eat it just simply so that no one else could have it. Now, I want you guys to tell me what part of his body did he use to pick up his food? How did he climb up his wall? What's he predominantly using? His hands. Can you guys hold up a hand? Close in your fingers. Start to move that around. What do we call that? It's a thumb. It's also referred to as an opposable digit. What that means is, go ahead and try this with me. Hold up your hand. Touch your pointer finger to your thumb. Middle finger to your thumb. Ring finger. And now pinky. Do you see how we can bring all those fingers in like that? Well, monkeys can do that too, but they only do it with one finger. That's their pointer finger to their thumb. They do that motion with their toes as well. Are you guys able to touch your first and second toe together like that? You should not be able to. If you could, you'd be able to jump and climb as well as he can. Now I'm going to have him come down here. Come on, bud. Let's come down here and do a little something called grooming. And grooming means that I'm going to look through... Hey, don't show him where I sweep the dirt. That means I look through his hair and I'm looking for bugs and dirt and dry skin. And when I find something, I'm supposed to pick it off and eat it. Oh, those are good bugs. Now, as I'm doing this, I should be lip smacking. It sounds like this. Sounds like a kissing noise, but it's what monkeys do to other monkeys to let them know, hey, I want to groom with you. I want to hang out. I want to socialize and check you out for bugs. If he does it back to me, for me, it's painful because, oh, you're not done yet over here. Okay. Anything. I'm not grooming that. Don't even, don't even try to push my hand down there. Anything he finds on my body, freckle, mole, scab, scar, if he can't pick it off, he will bite it off. Have you, have you guys ever had a mole removed by a monkey? It's not so pleasant. Yeah, just let the doctor do that when these guys are not so nice about it. Now, Megan's hanging out over here with a little bit of um, something to drink for Jax. Every good hard work and monkey needs some Gatorade in his life, so let's let him chug that down. I think it is G2, so we need the healthier option, but what you guys need to know is do not enter a beer chugging contest against this guy. He will beat you, and then he will beat you with the bottle that the beer came in. That's pretty much how monkeys work. Yeah, they're jealous, selfish, greedy, vindictive, manipulative, destructive, strong, intelligent, and basically want to rip the eyeballs out of your head. So after hearing all this stuff, who wants a monkey? You guys, you're not listening, are you? You guys are killing me. Well, Megan has some other things for him. We're going to come out with a couple options. You notice that he came out, Jax has his favorite stuffed animal, but Megan has an Oreo. She has his truck. She has a stuffed animal that he probably has never seen ever before. You're going to see what he wants. Oreo, of course. Stuffed animal, of course. And the truck, does that mean that I can have it? Can I have that? Or do you think you need that too? Not so sure. Yeah, I figured you'd go ahead and collect that. <laughs> they have to have everything. The world belongs to them. If you try to take it, they, they are not going to be okay with it. He doesn't have enough hands to hold on to everything that he wants. Parents, you have to understand, this is a two-year-old for the rest of your life. Yeah. And I talk, they might live 30, 35 years, so it's a long time to have a two-year-old. Now, leaving the stage, one of the hardest things to do, it's like leaving the amusement park with your own children. You chase them down, grab a hold of them, run for the exit world. And they have to be, because in Africa, they are in direct competition with lions, hyenas. These are other predators that are bigger. Those guys are social. They live together, work together, hunt together. Leopards being smaller and solitary. They just have to be pound for pound, smarter, stronger, faster, just to make a living. Now when you see her, you see her spots. And can you guys tell me what do spots do in nature? Camouflage, breaks up the outline of her body and she will just disappear into her environment. But we're also gonna show you a part of her body that is additional camouflage for her. She's gonna stand up for a tree. And when she does that, take a look at her belly and tell me, what color is her belly? White belly. Seems kind of strange, but you have to realize, leopards spend a lot of time up in the trees in Africa. That's where they are safer from lions and hyenas. However, once they are up in the trees, it means they have predators down below them looking up at them. So when you guys look into the sky, what colors do you see? Blue and white. So her white belly will just simply blend her right in with the sky. Now those of you who see her well, and I realize people over here probably can't, but I'll leave her uncovered so you can take a peek. But you're probably realizing she's not that big. She's only 75 pounds, but the reason she's considered a big cat is because she can roar. Big cats roar. Lions, tigers, leopards, jaguars. Small cats purr, that's every other kind of cat in the world. Neither one makes the other noise. And a lot of times people ask, well, can, can you make